This guy has knee pads built into his pants. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys, the people. Today I have two street parts, but before we get into that, if you haven't seen last week's episode, definitely go check it out because something funny happened that I haven't seen in a while. Somebody got their feelings hurt about the review that I gave them. Now, I always assume that when you, the viewer, purposely puts a toe drag or overuses Tic Tacs, I just give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I assume you're doing that to try to get a reaction out of me so that I can be more animated and make an all around better episode. But sometimes, some people's feelings are just so easy to hurt, oh, and they just wanna cry, and I feel like they really had no idea that the toe drag happened, which leads me to believe that some of my viewers may be blind. So go check out last week's episode if you want to experience the tears, oh, the tears. Anyways, let's jump into today's episode play. It's called Raw Clips, Street and Park. Clearly I'm retarded and I can't read because I thought it was only street footage. Uh, we got the disaster, we got the 180, this is clearly a park, we got, uh, okay, a little body burial, uh, push once, rocket flip deep in space, and then the front shove to maybe 180. I'm talking shit on that, but that's actually how I do front big spins too, they're terrible! That's why I never film them, because I don't want anyone to know how shitty I really am at that trick. Look at this guy's terrible skateboard. A lot of respect, okay? Always! I always try to give respect when I see somebody with a beat the fuck up skateboard because skateboards generally don't get beat up unless you're out there fucking skating. This guy has knee pads built into his pants, which is some futuristic shit. I really appreciate that because you don't want to get a scraped knee on your uh, two and a half stair kickflip. Here we go, rolling up, jumping across the gap, coming over here, manual down the stairs. Nicely done, good steez here. Whoa, slow down! Oh my god, it made me flinch how fast he was coming at the screen. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty cool trick, man. I gotta learn those, the uh, the ollie, body burials. Those really caught on these past couple years. And for me, they're actually really difficult. I love to talk shit on them and make jokes, but they're kinda hard for me. I have no idea how people do that shit down big stairs. Uh, we got American Ninja Warrior course here. And I feel like this is a worthy clip because of the cracks in the ground? I don't know why that would be in there, manualing around. This guy's trucks are really loose. I did not notice that the entire episode. Oh, cool. Heel flip body burial. I like those. Require skill, grinding, jumping up. Please don't be something lame. Rocket heel flip, kind of. Oh, and then backside flip. Okay. Could be worse. We've definitely had worse video parts, and I haven't seen any extremely blatant heel drags, unlike last episode. But, just like last episode, this guy chooses to not slide his nose slides and tail slides. Uh, sometimes stalling is more fun, I guess. But it just appeared to me that since you were going parallel to the ledge, maybe you'd want to slide, but what the fuck do I know? Overall, not bad at all. Uh, there was nothing that made me rage or scream. The lack of toe drags was a nice touch. Filming wasn't terrible. Quality wasn't too bad. And uh, the kid could end up being good one day. I saw a hint of steez. The only things I don't appreciate is for sure that one front crook that had me flinching out of my seat. But then again, that video was just called Raw Clips. It wasn't called My Skate Park 2018. It wasn't called Best Tricks. It wasn't called Sponsor Tape. So I'm gonna try to take it as what it was, which is very similar to our next video. It's just called Nick Stone Raw Footage Play. You guys are catching on. Oh, a nice bone to kickflip. You guys are catching on to not hyping yourselves up too much. I also appreciate that uh, both videos have started with skateboarding tricks. And not just some big fucking letters or some time lapse. Uh, maybe kickflip smith, maybe 5-0, maybe 50-50, I don't know what that trick was. Really nice nollie flip. This spot looks kind of cool because uh, just two flip tricks. Easy as that, backside flip. Got the steez, catching the trick really nicely. Nice tray flip. Kick flip up the stairs, we got some urban footage, as they call it. Brian, big spin. Caught it good, push once. What is this gonna be? 
Tray flip, I should have been psychic. I should have called that one. Switch flip, good bone on that. Good boner on that switch flip. Um, nose grind. <laughs> Crook shove. What a great spot, are these ledges metal? Oh, a little bit of uh, dilly-dallying on the front foot there. But that's a pretty tough trick. Last year, that was in one of my Flat Bar Fridays where I have to learn a new trick and it was tough for me. This guy probably has it down. Hard flip and then uh, another body burial. The other direction. Switch flip. That was a really nice switch flip. Better than the previous one, I think. We got a switch heel coming up. Uh, those weird penguin duck feet. I feel like that's why a lot of people's switch heels rock it. And I rarely ever had that problem. Because rather than have duck feet, I point my feet together and holy shit. That was a perfect hard flip. That's how a hard flip should look. That's the end of the video, but that reminded me of how like a PJ lad hard flip would look. And that's how they're supposed to look. I think that was a great choice being the last trick in the video. Most of those tricks were clean. We had a couple of repeat tricks, which I usually don't like, but the filming was good. Quality was good on most of those. Maybe a little bit of blurriness here and there, but the quality of the tricks helped me to forget there was a little bit of blurriness. Which goes to show that you guys don't need a $20,000 Spike Jones red camera to make skateboarding look good. You don't even need that much incredible skateboarding skills. All you need is to not be lazy when you're filming and editing. I feel like a lot of you guys in these past few episodes have fallen victim to just saying, well I made that video the way I wanted it. That's how I wanted it to look. And that's not true. All you wanted to do was throw all the clips together, walk away, maybe put a song on where none of the beats lined up to any of the tricks, call it a day, submit it to me, and pray to God that I suck your fucking dick for making a lazy, shitty skate video. Sorry! That's not how it fucking works here, and that's not how it works anywhere. Anyways, overall, great job by both video makers. They both had a couple of things they could do a little bit better, but overall, no huge complaints, which is why I'm not fucking yelling at the screen today. Ah, what a nice day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to be in Ninja Review, yeah, how do I do it? Oh, it's easy, young man. Just make sure your video is in HD. Find me on Facebook, type in Ninja Lifestyle, and send me a message with the YouTube link in question. I'll read the message, and I'll let you know. I very much encourage you guys to submit videos. Try hard a little bit. Don't make it like you just threw some shit together. At least try a little bit. I know it's funny to watch me freak out and scream, and I know that's part of the reason half of you guys watch these videos, but amidst all the jokes, I would like to also help you guys, A, to make better videos, and B, to promote those of you who are trying hard to make videos on YouTube, which is why if you enjoyed either of those videos, a link to both channels will be in the description below. I hope to see you guys tomorrow for another Ninja Lifestyle video. Make sure to subscribe, all that other shit. Kuna Matata Bitches.